Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the difference between even and odd polynomial functions. So I've done videos on even and odd functions before in Algebra 1 when I, when I was doing videos for Algebra 1 for the channel. So I'll link the video I did on even and odd functions in the cards right now. It's very similar, just in this video we're focusing more on polynomial functions. And I'm pretty sure in that video we looked more at linear functions. But either way, it's essentially the same thing. So let's start off and talk about the difference. So it says a function f is an even function when the f of opposite of x is equal to the f of x for all x values in its domain. And also the graph of an even function is symmetric about the y-axis. So there's kind of two determining factors. If you want to do it more algebraically, we take our function, whatever it is, if it's f of x, instead of x, we're going to plug in negative x. And we're going to simplify the equation, uh, simplify the function. And if we get the exact same function that we started with, then it's an even function. That's one way to do it. The other way is if we can graph it, and the graph is symmetric about the y-axis, like if we folded it over the y-axis, it would, it would map on top of each other, then it's also an even function. So let's talk about odd. A function f is an odd function when, now we substitute negative x in again, but now we get the opposite of f of x once we simplify. For all x in its domain, the graph of an odd function is symmetric about the origin. So once again, two determining factors. We could plug in the opposite of x, and once we simplify, if we get the opposite of what we started with, then it's odd. If we're able to graph it or look at the graph and it's symmetric about the origin, then it's odd. So we see our examples down here. On the left side in white, we have an even function. And so I try to draw this freehand, so it's maybe not exactly um, symmetric about the y-axis, but it should be, okay? And so look at a couple points that we have on the graph. We have negative x comma y. If that's on our function, then x comma y will be on our function. Or we could think about that the other way around, and that's kind of what this says here at the bottom. If we have a point on the graph, then the opposite of x comma y will also be on the graph. And so for odd, we can see how if we folded it over the origin, then it would be symmetrical. And so if we have our point on the graph here, then both of my coordinates x and y would become opposite. So for our examples for this video, we're going to do three examples, and I'm going to work them out by substituting negative x in for x, and then also I'm going to graph them on my graphing calculator, and I will have that on the screen so that you can see what the graph would look like as well, okay? So we'll start off with number one, and let's go ahead and plug in and let's find the f of negative x. So instead of x cubed, we're going to have negative x cubed minus 12 and instead of x, we're going to have negative x. So see how we just plugged in a negative x there. So now let's simplify this. Well, negative x times negative x times negative x, that's still going to be, or that's now going to be negative x cubed. And now negative 12 times a negative x, that's going to be plus 12x. So now what you can see is we started with x cubed, now we have negative x cubed. We started with negative 12x, now we have positive 12x. So that's the opposite, right? So this would be an example of an odd function. So now if we go to our calculator and we go into y equals, and we graph our function x cubed minus 12x, and we hit graph, it should appear to be symmetric about the origin, and that's what we see on the graph right there. All right, number two. Let's find the g of negative x. So instead of x to the fourth, we have negative x to the fourth plus negative x squared minus seven. All right, so now for this one, we have negative x to the fourth power, so that's negative x times negative x times negative x times negative x. And so that's going to give us back to a positive x to the fourth. Then we have plus negative x times negative x, that's going to give us back an x squared, and then we have minus 7. So notice that our equation looks exactly as it started, so this would be an example of an even function. So now we go back to y equals, let's clear out what we had for y1, and let's graph our second function. So x to the fourth plus x squared minus seven. And now once we graph this one, it should be symmetric about the y-axis. And we see that it is, right? If we folded that over, it would be symmetric about that y-axis, okay? All right, so now let's go back to y equals. Let's clear that out. And now let's finish off with number three, okay? So now for number three, we have h of negative x, and that's gonna be equal to negative x to the fifth plus nine, so negative x to the fifth, that's going to be five factors of a negative, so that's going to be negative x to the fifth. But now we have a plus nine. So notice we have opposite of x to the fifth, but we still have a plus nine. So this is neither even nor odd. All right, so let's see what this graph would look like. We have x to the fifth, and then plus nine. So we hit graph, 
All right, and we can see if we uh, zoom out a little bit, let's adjust our window and let's change our Y max to maybe 50. All right, so we see our, our graph there. If we fold it over the Y axis, not symmetrical. And then also if we fold it over the origin, also not symmetrical, okay? So that's how we can identify even and odd polynomial functions. <laughs>